Hi guys, today's video is going to be all about divine timing and what is this concept? Is it relevant to your manifestation process? So stay tuned if you're interested, if you'd like to hear more about this topic and let's get into the video. And also before I start, I forgot to say, I offer coaching. I have a few new offers that I released in the past couple of months that you guys are probably aware of because you've been watching my videos, but I offer a guidebook and workbook to manifesting your SP a few other different topics like self-concept and success and my overall coaching packages. If you want to hear more about this, if you'd like to see what I offer and the prices, everything is linked on my Instagram, LOA Coaching. It's linked in the description box so you can head over there or just type in the username LOA Coaching on the app and see everything I have to offer. So do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you like this topic, if you enjoy my manifestation content, and now let's get into my first point. I do wanna say first of all that although I don't particularly agree with the concept of divine timing, at least not anymore in terms of manifesting, it is a similar concept to the idea of perfect timing, perfect unfolding when it comes to manifestation. So you'll probably hear a lot of coaches say this and you probably should. And even Sammy Ingram talks about this sort of thing about things just unfolding, things happening, things coming together. And that is what you would refer to as perfect timing because it's unexpected, but it comes together on its own technically. Like you put in the work, but then the result actually coming in, it's it just happens, right? It just happens naturally and unfolds in a natural process. So to me, yes, that is considered perfect timing. Because for example, you know, you'll get exactly what you want from your SP, such as they text you, but they send you three long paragraphs being super, super sweet and romantic towards you, right? And that's better than you expected. So to me, that is perfect timing because all these messages just came in all at once, one evening when you were just, you know, sat scrolling through Instagram and you get the notification, right? That sort of thing is an example of perfect timing with manifestation. Same way divine timing is considered as being created by the universe or a higher power um, or your higher self or whatever the concept may be. And it refers to the timing being divinely created, divinely placed in your experience for you individually, right? So it's a similar concept to manifestation in terms of having things unfold perfectly, but I don't like that phrase and the actual term itself is not linked to law of assumption. So as I said, this is literally not a law of assumption principle. So I wouldn't say you should be reliant on the concept of perfect timing because yes, you should trust that the process and everything in your actual outcome of your manifestation will come to you and will all come together perfectly. You shouldn't sit there and be reliant and wait for a perfect time or wait for divine timing. That's nothing to do with being a conscious creator and manifesting your desired outcome especially with law of assumption principles. You're not supposed to be reliant and you're not waiting for something outside of you to happen. That's kind of going against um, your power as a creator. Technically, you are the one who creates the timing. So like I said, you are the creator. So you are creating your reality, shaping it as you want it to be. You're bringing into your current timeline or shifting or whatever you want to call it. You're basically experiencing your a, a version of your individual reality where you now have that desire. Your SP, the money, the appearance, the friendships, whatever it may be. That's the all things we want, right? Um, so you're kind of experiencing it in your individual individual reality after having created it yourself. You're shaping your reality. You're not waiting around for timing. You're not wondering when the universe will grant you your desire. You are creating it day by day with all the effort you're putting in. So technically, you create the timing. You decide, I'm not gonna create any delays. It's gonna happen in the most natural and quick way possible because I'm on my mental diet every day. I'm aware of my thoughts and I know what I want from the new story and I, I know how to think about it. I create thoughts in my mind throughout the day and I make sure that if I don't, I flip them back into a positive new story, right? So it's all about you taking the power and being in control, having full control of your reality to change any element, meaning that the timing is up to you. If you only affirm for three minutes a day, it's gonna take long and you know, and you're not focusing on your thoughts, you're allowing any old thought to come into your mind, even negative ones. Yes, it will take longer. If you're on top of your routine, you know that you might not have the most positive thoughts naturally, so you're aware and you immediately apply your mental diet, right? 
that is the best way to control the timing and decide that, you know what, it's gonna be here very, very, very soon in the 3D reality. I just know it's all coming together perfectly. It's shifting, it's all adding up. You know, SP is about to message me any moment now. And you just know deep down and you tell yourself that your 3D reality will shift perfectly. It's all coming in. And you know that probably within a couple of weeks, you're gonna have exactly what you want in the 3D. I'm not saying it has to be three, three weeks or a couple of weeks. It's just usually, typically, if you're coming from an old story, a fast manifestation to get your full end result is about two weeks. Like if you go from no contact to your dating your SP in two weeks, that is a really fast manifestation. So what I'm saying is you can create that outcome. You just need to realize your power, realize that you're in control and that by applying these conscious manifestation practices, you can control the timing to some extent. Don't forget that you decide how it goes, only you have free will. Other people in your reality have to conform. So it's not that SP doesn't love me, so it's gonna take years. No, you're saying that, you decide that, you are the one deciding whether or not you're gonna actually put in the effort to change your beliefs. And if you are, guess what? SP has to conform. It's like you're a magnet, magnetizing him to you. There's nothing he, well, he or she, there's nothing he or she can do to stop it. They will be, you know, in a relationship with you. They will give you your desired outcome. Any manifestation doesn't even have to be a personal relationship. It's going to be yours because you're putting in the work. You are convincing your mind of it. So it's not divine timing. It's not that, um, you know, it's being controlled by an external force or that it's being granted to you. You are granting it to yourself. And if you try to give your power to the universe, you're giving your power away. That's not to say you can't apply religion. You can absolutely be religious and practice manifestation. I am, um, you know, I believe in God. I technically do practice my religion. So you, you don't have, it doesn't have to be one or the other, but if you are simply focusing on manifesting and saying, the universe will give it to me in divine timing, or if you say, God will give it to me if this, if that, you as a manifester have the power to bring it into your reality, into your experience. It's not about waiting for God or the universe or an external power to give it to you or grant you a miracle. By, manif by manifesting it, that's you taking control and choosing to bring it into your experience and create this amazing positive outcome on your own. In terms of timing, I'm saying don't rely on an outside force or higher power. Do not rely on God. Do not try and refer to it as the universe um, and say that, you know, God or this universal power will give me my desire. You are saying by man by repeating and changing your beliefs, you're actually bringing it in that way. So don't tell yourself that you have to wait to be granted it. It's nothing to do with that. That's completely separate, I think. For example, the act of prayer, right? So essentially, you're going to prevent delays of you getting your desired outcome in that new story, and you're going to prevent the new story from coming to fruition in the physical reality. If you try and say that a different, um, something external outside of you is bringing you your desire. It's you shifting your beliefs and your beliefs being reflected in the 3D reality. So only you have free will in your physical reality. All the people in your life have to conform and you're gonna prevent delays of you getting what you want and prevent the timing from being delayed if you realize that only you have free will and that you can shift anything you want by putting in the work. Final point is that divine timing essentially implies that things have to happen a certain way and that you're not in control of how things unfold or what actually comes to you. And basically implying that it's not in your control when it is. As a conscious creator, a conscious manifester, you're deciding to bring in a certain experience, certain relationship into your life, certain state of being into your life by focusing on it in your mind, in your subconscious mind, right? So it's nothing to do with your religious beliefs or divine timing, your spiritual beliefs. It's very much just based on the principle, basic principles of you shifting your mindset, shifting your thought process and beliefs about a certain topic. So don't give away your control and assume that there is a source of divine timing that is going to decide exactly when and how you get what you want. You can get exactly what you want, exactly how you want it, if you focus on that outcome. I hope this video made sense and was beneficial to you guys. Please do thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.